All right, so I think we're gonna start off with uh, Train. Which is a time, speed, and distance quiz. Oh god, I hope this isn't the classic like, oh, if a train leaves this city at going, traveling at this distance, you know, you know, that kind of classic thing, but I think that's probably what it's gonna be, let's see. So a train is a program which uses the computer to generate problems with random initial conditions. To teach about the time, speed, distance relationship, oh god. Yep, distance equals rate times time. You then input your answer and the computer verifies your response. Train is merely an example of a student-generated problem. Maximum fun and benefit comes from writing programs like this as opposed to solving the specific problem posed. Exchange your pro program with others, you solve their problem and let them solve yours. Train was originally written in Focal by one student for use by others in his class. It was submitted to us by Walt Koki of Lexington High School. Lexington, Massachusetts. Yeah, we've seen uh, our friend Walt before, including I think he had a game uh, that we played yesterday. So, uh, I hope it isn't too complex. Let's see how it goes. Get the train. All right, so it's a time, speed, distance exercise. A car traveling 43 miles an hour can make a certain trip in 14 hours less than a train traveling at 36 miles an hour. How long does the trip take by car? All right, so let's think about this. So the distance they're traveling in speed between the car and the train is seven miles an hour, right? And they're saying they can make the whole trip is gonna be 14 hours less. So uh, we're talking about 14 hours and we're saying distance equals rate times time. So, uh, and it's seven hours differential per hour, right? Correct. So 14 times seven is what? Is that 128 off the top of my head? But let's see if that's right. I don't remember offhand. Sounds right. Actually, no, that does not sound right. 98, yeah, it's actually under 100, yeah. All right, so we're talking about a difference of 90, uh, well, it's a differential of 98 hours. Okay, so they're asking, oh, okay, they're not asking how long the trip is, they're asking how long does the trip take by car. Got it. So in the same amount of time, Actually, yeah, that doesn't make sense. So, in 14 hours, the car tra travels 98 miles. And the train, uh, more than the train. Got it. But that's at whatever time interval we're talking about. <laughs> Mustache Simulator 1973. Okay, so, how long does the trip take by car? volume because it's a little, or at least on my ears it's a little distracting. Okay, so the distance is basically is x. Well, it's not ultimately what we're solving for, but I think we need to figure it out to understand how long the uh, trip by car takes. Because once we know the distance of the trip, then we can easily solve for what the total distance is. So basically, I think we have to set up like two parallel equations and then solve against each other. So let's say, if, well, yeah, okay. So let's just say x equals the distance of the trip. Does that make sense? Or no, x would be the time. Yeah, no, I think x has to be the yeah, how many hours it's traveled, I think. Right, so x plus 14. Three hundred miles an hour. Actually, you know what, let's quickly see how they, um, is it the same problem every time? 
No, okay. No, no, it's different. So they do mix it up. One, two, okay. Yeah, so they, they are bearing up the, um, the speed and what the distance is. Wow. It's just been so long since I looked at these, even some Walter Craig things. It takes you a while to, to get back into it, even though I know this is not, like, a very difficult uh, problem to solve. It's just, like... Just even setting it up and thinking in this terms to, to know how to solve it is, is the challenge. Okay, that's seven. So, I mean, the car can travel in the same period of time, over 14 hours, the car travels 98 miles more, but that doesn't really help us here, I don't think. No, I don't think it does. How long does the trip take by car? Okay, interesting, they should actually call this car rather than train because <laughs> the focus, the information, there's more information given about the car and they want to know information about the car, not the train. Should have called it car. All right, so if we use the thing, so distance equals rate times time. The rate is 43 miles an hour, but we know it's X plus 14, I guess. We don't know what the total distance is. That's what we have to solve for, maybe some 36. Actually, you know what, let's, let's just plug in, let's plug in, let's just say the trip is 200 miles. Well, actually it's much longer than that. Longer. Let's say it's 2,000 miles. Not to say it is 2,000 miles, but this will just gonna help to us to construct the um, this equation. So if it is 2,000 miles, then we would say 2,000 divided by 43 would give us the total time uh, distance of the trip for by car. <laughs> yeah, complained real right. Walt Cookie. I went, yeah, Walt Cookie's probably still alive, right? He's probably not in Lexington, Massachusetts anymore. But all right, yeah. So then you would say um, it was forty-six and a half hours. Okay, this is probably the best way to do this. So then it would take, in that in that scenario, it would take the car 46 and a half hours to, to travel that, um, and it would take the train, which is going at 36 uh, miles an hour, 55 and a half hours, which is a difference of 11 hours. And we need to be 14, and it's actually a 14 mile, uh, hour differential. So it's actually more than 2,000 miles. It would seem. So actually, this should be okay. Yeah. Now that I wrote something down there, this should be um, easier to solve. All right. So all I think we need to do. Let's actually, get up our notes here. Okay. Let me just add a thing. I'm just gonna put display this on stream so you guys can see how I'm. At least attempting does all this. We'll see if it works out. But this helps with my thought thought process. Usually, I'm the sort of person that needs to like kind of get things done on paper to help figure out like the best way to go about it. All right, let's can do have a browser here. Browser capture. Because yeah, ideally you have like an algebraic equation to handle this. But all right, so. We're gonna first put in here, this will be our um, uh, total, I guess we'll call it duration, the duration of time. You know what, I actually, actually um, do better zoomed in capture of this. Actually, shit, I shouldn't use this one. Hold on. Use, um, here we go, that's better. Sorry, one second, just gotta set this up. I think you wanna capture more cells than this. A 
Okay. So if, if we have the duration, um, like whatever, this is just setting up at 2000, and then we're saying the, uh, the rate or the speed at which the vehicle is moving, we know that for the um, uh, car, it's 43 miles an hour. For the train, it is 36 miles an hour. All right, and then we have the total time it takes. Um, actually, I shouldn't say, this is actually not the, this is the distance, not the duration. This is the duration I want to put here. All right, and then we just divide uh, the distance, of course, by the rate. So a trip of 2,000 miles. There you go. There you go. Now this would, this would actually be the same regardless. So we can just say this would be three. Okay, there we go. And then we just get the differential between the car and the train. So that would be uh, d4 minus d3. There is nine miles. So ultimately what we want to have is that this number here equal 14, right? And then we can sort of solve backwards. <laughs> Very proud of doing it, Haskell Math. I'm proud too, believe it or not, I actually did fairly well in math. In, uh, <laughs> I know it doesn't show it now, but I'm just so out of practice. But I, uh, I, I did, I did pr uh, uh, pretty well in math in uh, high school. It's just, I don't really use math at all and since then. So it's just re, Going back and read, you know, uh, to this line of thinking, it's just, it's a little, uh, a little bit of an uphill climb. All right, so we, if we want this to be 14, so clearly the trip's got to be um, longer than 2,000 miles. If we just set to 2,500, you can see then it gets up to 11. Oops, uh, 3,000 miles. It's 13, so it's a little bit of 13 and a half, 3,100. Okay, a little bit less. So I mean, this is just, of course, I'm just feeling this out instead of actually solving this algebraically. Um, 3097. Okay, it's about 3097, 309. There we go, 3,996 3, uh, miles is the total distance of the trip. And uh, there you go. So it is takes 72 hours for the trip to travel by car would be my response. Let's see. And what happened to the uh, music here? Oh, this is weird. Something die. All right, anyway, we'll fix that later. Um, we said 72 hours for the trip. Good, answer within 0%. The correct answer is 72 hours. Okay, there we go. And that was uh, Train. For the mini computer, it wasn't uh, probably the perfect best way to go about it, but uh, in the end, yep, the equation would have been x min uh, divided by 43 minus 14, yeah, so that's what I was trying to set up as the algebraic equation, but like, and you would have multiplied both sides, yeah, I mean, it was a simple algebraic equation, it's been so long since I had uh, done that, that I wasn't like, I don't know, it's still early morning, whatever, excuse, 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 it just helps me visualize that by just writing this stuff down, so... We got there soon enough.